Now that we have a sequence that is coming to life, it's time to think about spicing it up a little bit and adding some transition effects, which will make the cuts a little bit more pleasing on the eye. Media Composer makes it super easy to add basic transitions like dissolves and dip to color, which are essentially some of the more utilized transitions as they make your edits a little bit more interesting while not being too much of a distraction, which is one thing to keep in mind when you start adding effects in transitions. It's, it's easy to go overboard with the stuff. Then again, it all comes down to personal preference and rules are meant to be broken, right? So let's take a look at how easy it is to spice up your edits with transitions. In my timeline, I have two clips. Uh, here's what it looks like without the transition. The edit is kind of abrupt, right? So it just doesn't look very good. I happen to really love the dip to color effect, which I'm sure you've noticed dip to color before in many of the videos that you watch, but it happens so fast that you probably didn't even notice it. So here's how to make one. I'll place my cursor in the middle of the edit and then hit the quick transition button here. Don't forget you can also use the backslash button on your keyboard or you can map it however you'd like. You'll see the quick transition dialog window up here, and let's take a quick look at all the options, which are pretty simple. We want to choose what transition to use. I'll select dip to color, but you'll also notice all the other options here, like dissolves, which is another really popular transition to use. Next, we'll want to decide the position of the transition, either centered, starting on the cut, or ending on the cut. I'll choose centered. Then you'll want to choose the duration, which in this case, I'll just use the default. Next, you'll want to choose the target drive, which is basically telling Media Composer where to put the render if we were to choose the add and render option. I should mention that quick transitions are green dot effects, meaning you don't have to render them. They are designed to run smoothly on most systems without rendering. Uh, but keep in mind that as your sequence grows and more assets are added, you can start to see some lag in playback. If that's the case, then I would suggest that you go back and render all your effects, which should speed things back up. Once you've selected all these settings, you hit add, and there you go. So let's take a look at the edit now. Much better. In the next video, we're gonna dive into the 3D Warp tool, and I'll show you the endless possibilities of a tool that is often overlooked. So I'll see ya.